Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Jones again. It's getting close to Thanksgiving and I thought I would read for you one of my favorite books that makes me think about food. It's a funny book called My Lucky Day by Kiko Kaza. You can see it's a fox in this story and a sneaky little pig. Let's get started. My Lucky Day. One day, a hungry fox was preparing to hunt for his dinner. As he polished his claws, he was startled by a knock at the door. Hey, rabbit, someone yelled outside. Are you home? Rabbit, thought the fox. If there were any rabbits in here, I'd have eaten them for breakfast. When the fox opened the door, there stood a delicious-looking piglet. Oh, no, screamed the piglet. Oh, yes, cried the fox. You've come to the right place. He grabbed the piglet and hauled him inside. This must be my lucky day, the fox shouted. How often does dinner come knocking on the door? The piglet kicked and squealed. Let me go, let me go. Sorry, pal, said the fox. This isn't just any dinner. It's a pig roast, my favorite. Now get into that roasting pan. It was useless to struggle. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but there's just one thing. What? growled the fox. Well, I am a piglet, you know. I'm filthy. Shouldn't you wash me first? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. He is filthy. So he got busy. He collected twigs. He made a fire. He carried in the water. And finally, he gave the piglet a nice bath. You're a terrific scrubber, said the piglet. There, said the fox. Now, you're the cleanest piglet in the country. You stay still right now. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but... But what, growled the fox. Well... I am a very small piglet, you know. Shouldn't you fatten me up to get more meat? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. He is on the small side. So the fox got busy. He picked tomatoes. He made spaghetti. He baked cookies. And finally, he gave the piglet a nice dinner. You're a terrific cook, said the piglet. There, said the fox. Now you're the fattest piglet in the county, so get into that oven. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but... What, 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 cried the fox. Well, I am a hard-working pig, you know. My meat is awfully tough. Shouldn't you massage me first to make it a more tender roast? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself, I do prefer tender meat. So the fox got busy. He pushed and he pulled. He squeezed and he pounded the piglet from head to toe. You give a terrific massage, said the piglet. But the piglet continued, I've been working really hard. My back is awfully stiff. Could you push a little harder, Mr. Fox? A little to the right, please. Yes, yes. Now, just a little to the left. Uh-oh, look at the fox. He's getting tired, isn't he? Mr. Fox, are you there? <laughs> But Mr. Fox was no longer listening. He had passed out, exhausted. He couldn't lift a finger, let alone a roasting pan. Poor Mr. Fox, sighed the piglet. He's had a busy day. 
Then the cleanest, fattest, and softest piglet in the county picked up the rest of his cookies and headed for home. Do you see the fox's feet? <laughs> what a bath! What a dinner! What a massage! cried the piglet. There must, this must be my lucky day! When he got home, the piglet relaxed before a warm fire. Let's see, he said, looking at his address book. Who shall I visit next? I hear you, Sully. Look at his book. Uh-oh. It's going to happen all over again, but this time with Mr. Bear. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we hope to see everybody soon. Bye-bye.